And the news at 11 begins with breaking news. A Virginia father whose son is charged with murder is sharing his story. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Levi Norwood's dad is still trying to make sense of the unthinkable. Police say he found his wife and his six-year-old son dead when he came home Friday night. He says Levi shot him too. Lorenzo Hall has been on this story for us tonight, and you spoke with Josh Norwood on the phone just yeah. a short time ago, the father in this story. Um, what what did he say happened? Yeah, you can hear his voice trembling at certain points, Leslie. He said he got home. It was Valentine's Day, and he thought something was off initially because when he walked up to the door, he said usually his six-year-old son, Wyatt, is there to greet him, and he wasn't there that day. Uh, and then seconds later, he was shot. Uh, he realized it was his son, uh, according to this dad here, Levi. He mm -hmm. says Levi ran away, and then that's when the father, Joshua, started running through the house looking for his family. Um, and that's when he saw just a lot of blood and their bodies at I mean, that, that point. So awful. you can only imagine just those couple of seconds right there, what they were like. Just awful discoveries. Yeah. Did he talk about whether there were any warning signs that yeah. violence could be in his midst? Yeah, and he's been processing that while trying to grieve uh, over the loss of his son and his wife. He's trying to figure out if there were any signs, and he says there were none. He says if there were any signs, obviously Jen and uh, Wyatt would be here with us today. Uh, but he says he actually went to Richmond the weekend before with Levi, had mm -hmm. Levi drive there, drive back, and even talked with him about his purple hair and said if anyone tried to bully him, he would come to his defense. So he said they had a great relationship, there was nothing wrong, and so still trying to understand why this happened is a bit puzzling. His son is an accused killer. Mm. Did Josh have any message for him? Anything he wants him to know? Yeah, that was my last question to him, Les. And he, he sat there for a minute, he paused, and he said, no, he doesn't even want to see him at this point. He says, as a father, you, you think about loving your kid for so many years, 17 years, this is your son, but then in a matter of minutes, you know, you hate him. So he says he goes back and forth between love and hate. And at the moment when he's back here in Virginia uh, for his hearing, he, he says he doesn't want to see him. It sounds like an incredible emotional roller coaster for yeah. a man whose family has just been decimated. So thanks so much for that. You bet.